welcome to another episode of Main Road to Glory. Yes, look at the screen. Edward Dijkman has blown the nest and gone back to Germany. He was actually wasn't actually getting in this season so much, but still, what an incredible assist record. He will go down. He's actually down as one of the club legends, unless he's lost that status now, he's actually gone. No, he's still there, him and Lewis Archer, still rocking up the Legends Lounge. But no, Edward, I just call him Edward, his name is Edward. And yeah, Edward Diamond has gone. But it's in the spirit of this episode, because we've made a couple of signings as well. If you checked out my Twitter, you know where I'm going. First signing is Kieran O'Hara. This is a swoop, ladies and gentlemen. 27 years of age, a real player. I mean, that's a that's a surprise. Ben Smith was doing really well in goal, and then all of a sudden, he just started to decline in, in ability, and he wasn't getting any better. At the start of the season, it got around about 9 or 10 clean sheets, and he looked absolutely fantastic. But, yeah, you can't beat those attributes. At this level, remember, this is Evo Stick Premier. Oh, where did we get him from? We got him from lower than what we are now, so it makes absolutely zero sense. In real life, he's at Manchester United, uh, he goes to Crawley on this, and then he kept going down and down and down, he obviously got promotion last season, and I swooped in and took him off the books of Eli. Welcome to the club, Kieran O'Hara. Our second sign-in is the Perez, four-star current ability, four-star potential ability, 18 years of age, Peruvian striker, he's come through the ranks, and you know what, ladies and gents, I am so happy to have this kid. And now Edward Diamond's gone, he can slot in on that right-hand side as well perfectly. We've got four amazing strikers, but three positions to go for. Four amazing strikers in Dieterman, we've got Pinter, we've got Margarita, and we've got Perez now. I mean, you're not going to get those names in the real life at Evo Stick Premier Division, are you? But we have got them here at Main Road. And last but not least, and possibly the best signing I've ever made at this level, I mean, this is the best signing I've ever made. Marianne Avramia. Ram? Ramia? Avramia. Yeah. Why can I not say the names? I just don't get it. Six under 21 caps for Romania. Yellows across the board. Physicals are up there. Not a single red in that. Oh, it's just... How have I got him at this level? How have I got him at this level? And I've got him in a full-time contract as well. So if someone comes in, we're talking half a million quid. I'm not even joking. If we can get promoted this season, I'm talking half a million pounds. History, again, we've got him even lower than what he was. There's obviously some sort of flaw with the game. He was with FC Romania when he started off, though, and then he got a move to Dulwich, which then got him a move to Spurs, where he didn't play a single game. And then he went to Eli as well. They loved picking up a player. They must have some money or something behind them. And then Stropfold, he just kept getting worse and worse. But now he's moved to the lights of Main Road, and we are grateful to have him. Welcome to the club, Marion. So let's have a look where we have been, or where we stand, since we last met. And we are top, top, top of the league with a game in hand. And we are, what is that, seven points clear at the moment. So win that game in hand and we go ten points clear. We have not lost a single game since the beginning of the season. And that was against Shep Shed as well. Have a, have a little gander at this. Here we go, just skipping through the times. And then you get to this little red one here, and that's Shep Shed at the start of the season. And we have gone on one hell of a run. I think, I can't remember the last time we were together. Could have been really early on. It could have been around the gates at the time. And we've done fantastic since then. I lost in the uh, FA Trophy to Barrow, which I wasn't too disappointed about. They are in the National League. And we actually took them to a replay as well. We could have won it at home. We got a 96 win uh, minute winner through Edward, uh, Edward Dykeman. <sighs> All the times, eh? All the times. And yeah, and recently, a crazy game against Bootle in the last game, 7-4, a 2-1 against Frickley. We've got a 4-3 three, three against Bradback Avenue. We drew away from home at Shep Shed. I think that is kind of just pushing us all the way to the title kind of thing. We just can't seem to lose at the moment. I'm going to put my foot in it, and we're obviously going to lose this game now, as per usual. But as you can see, all the way from Gateshead here, there's 2-1s, 1-1s, 4-0s, 1-1s, 5-2s, 3-0, 3-2s, 1-1-4-3, 2-1 and 7-4. We haven't lost a single game. Some other news. Imran Pinter is obviously declining in current ability and potential ability. But there's a thing about Imran at the moment. He is on the verge of making history. I think he is about three... Yes, no, four. He's four goals, league goals away from becoming the whole-time goal scorer at Main Road. 
Lewis Archer is currently holding that uh, mantelpiece at the moment with 104 goals. Imran is on 101 out of 109 league games, which is incredible. He's on a bit of a goal scoring run at the moment, and hopefully, if we can get a, a couple of goals in the first game and a couple of goals in the second game, we are on to a winner, and we will see it there and then. We're picking. We're going to start with. Actually, we won't see today because we are in the cup. Let's just say that we're playing Spennymore and Colville. Spennymore is coming up, and I will see you in two ticks. Quite possibly the weirdest transfer that I've ever made. Well, not actually. I'm not making it. It's QPR that made it. This kid. Look at those ability. Can't get in to my main team. Put him on the transfer list because obviously I've got him on a full-time contract. And QPR. Who is the manager of QPR these days? Christoph Buhler. Yep. Yeah. You're not going to do very well, mate. See you later then, Keenan. Bye-bye. Game day is upon us and it's Main Row versus Spennymore. And Spennymore. Spennymore. Just remembered I used to do that all the time. Spennymore are actually in the league below us. So this should be quite routine. I kind of want to win this, this tournament now. There's just something about it. I've been playing in it long enough and I never, I've never, i never got that far in it. I think I got to the uh, quarterfinals before. That's the furthest I've got. And I lost a bloody, what was it called? Loughborough University. They're in the same league as me, but at the time, they were shit. So the formation, well, the, the starting 11 goes. Kieran O'Hara in goal with Frederick Hu, Yesin and Carido. They do never miss a game, them lot. They never mess a game. Tilshinnel in the middle with uh, Amram. Oh, do you know what? We're just going to call him Avram. Not even an odd name to say, but he just rem like, we've got Avram. Here we go. Um, Avram's in the middle. So it's Tilshinnel and Amram in the middle with Martinez, Ben Calafa, and then up top we've got Perez, Pinta, and Margarita. Let's do this. Win this game, get through to the semis, and we will be a happy little chappy. Go there, prove a point. They never. I'm starting to doubt Jack Collison when it comes down to. I always give him the option to uh, for the assistant to speak, and then I always have to come in and hang on a second. I saw a name. I saw a name. Yes, there's no doubt about it. That kid is Lewis Jardine. Am I right? L Jardine. Ah, oh, there he is. The same one it is. God, I hate him. Get stuck into him. If you don't know who Louis Jardine is, go back to the beginning of this series and you'll understand who he is and why I hate him. 15 minutes coming up though and nothing has particularly happened in this game so far. We always play a little bit like this though. We always play a tiny little bit like this where we're supposed to win and sometimes we we do crumble. We crumbled in the, uh, in the FA Cup against an absolute nobody. Jardine plays a Hollywood pass over the top to Gordon. It's now Howard who heads it and it goes over the top of the bar. I'm going to tell the lads to demand more because this is not good already. Maybe. These keep pushing. We will go attacking. Summers to Howard. It comes back to him. He's hit the bar and that is the last of that. Let's control this game. We are better than this team. But we are not showing it. Picked us up here. Come on. Here we go. Kalafa puts it in and it's a terrible corner. Tushinland, oh, I don't know what he's doing there. It hangs back, Gordon comes in, hits it, and that goes wide. I am going to go a bit apeshit at half time. That is the poorest performance we've had all season, I think. I haven't played this bad in a very, very, very long time. And we're only drawing now. now. I'm going to say, assertively, I'm far from pleased with what I saw, get out there and make it happen. No, I've got subs that will do. Yes, he pumps it forward. Ah, and what is going off? Here comes Gordon. Puts it in there. And we're pretty much all over the shot. I like continues. This is from the after this is from the kickoff. And it's hair bottle. Alderman, it comes over the top to Gordon, and here's the goal after 50 seconds. And um, what did I say? What did I say? I said we were going to be shit in this match. I said we were going to be shit. And we have been absolute bollocks. <laughs> 1 0, spending more. Well done. Right. We're going to come off attacking. In fact, we're going to go attacking. 
balls to it. We're not going standard. Right, let's change a, change a few things around. Get somebody off. You're off. Get Pinter off. And just leave it that for now. I can't do anything. That's it now. I've got no more attacking players on the bench. I'm going to have to do something. Instead, we're going to lose this game. I can feel it. You know, and it's just one of them games. I'm going to go back. We're going to go back to standard. And I'm going to demand more from the players. Because this is terrible. Oh, and Toshin has got himself sent off now. We've got a curse on this cup. Honestly. There is a curse on the cup. Yeah. I mean... Are we going to do anything today? Do you have some passion? Are we even bothered? The answer is no. This is the worst performance I've had all season. We haven't lost since Barrow in the cup. Perez has been in the air. Avram knocks out to Margarita. And we've got a chance and the Korean puts it wide soon. And that's the only one we're going to get today, ladies and gents. Because I've played this game long enough and I know when it's not going to go our way because we've got players that are a million times better than these and they just want to play shit i'm going aggressive we should be winning that sort of game piss off out of my fringe um actually finding my week's wages for getting sent off i don't give a shit right i'll see you at the next game bye bye second game is upon us and the second game of the episode we are playing colville today we are at home and we're going to have to go back to uh, winning ways. I'm really disappointed with that. Let me just sort out this team and I'll be back in two ticks. So the team is O'Hara in goal. We're going to stay with the same formation, by the way. So it's O'Hara in goal. We've got uh, Ion is going to make his first appearance of the season at the right-hand side of the defence. Because Frederick, who is, uh, he's been playing fantastic this season. But there's just something just been lacking in the last couple of games. And obviously, that defeat last game, he got beat on the right-hand side. And they scored. So he comes he comes off. Iron comes in with Yesin and Carido. We've got Sassi, who's going to fill in for Tilshin there. He obviously has been moved out of midfield now. Avram has come in. But Sassi can play in that um, defensive midfield role. So he's going to stick there. With Irk is going to come in for Martinez on this right-hand side. With Ben Calafa. And we're going to go Perez, Dieterman and Margarita up top. On the bench we've got Pinter, who, Smith, Martinez, KP, Demont, and Yang Jian. Need to get back to winning ways. Coldfield are 13th, I believe, in the league. Let's have a look at some of the players that they have got. Anyone that jumps out, there's a Villa player at this, at this side, and he's their star player, Jordan Cox. Never heard of him, and I'm a Villa fan. Need to do better than last time. They seem happy with that, so let's just use that. And we are underway shooting from left to right. And it's Ion on the ball at the end of the highlight. Cox has got injured, so that's good for us. It was around this time last season, if you remember, when we just started to crumble a little bit. And I just don't want to push the panic button just yet. We only lost one cup game. But we're going up to 20 minutes and nothing has happened in this game either. And still nothing happens. And Shepshed are losing 2-0. So a win here. Even a crappy 1-0. And we will be... 10 points clear. In fact, yeah, we will be 10 points. No, it'll be 11 points, I think. Ball goes over the top, and it's a penalty. And it's one of the, yeah, it's one of the, yeah, I, can, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is FM doing what FM does best. We need a save here. Yep. Johnson. Yep, 1 0. Smith. Swinburne and I can't believe how bad we're playing I really can't this is 2-0 I can see it good save we've been outstanding <laughs> we've been actually outstanding Sassy intercepts and that's good he tries to knock the ball over the top though but Gal gets there Ben Claffer knocks it over the top and it's Dieterman and he hits the bar oh, it's going to be one of those episodes isn't it need to give them some encouragement I think so, tell them that we're not happy, and then passionately give them the best team talk. There's a lot more to come from you. Come on. These are not very good as well. These are 12. Defenders are not looking good on the pitch. Dieterman's on a 6.3. Avram on a 6.4. Shepshed are coming back into it. They're 3-2 behind now. Now 4-2, so that's good. Here, come, here we go. Kalafa. 
Ion goes for the Eddie, comes back to Clafitz. Margarita! Kochunga! <laughs> what a goal by Benjamin Margarita on the half folly. Pick that out. Now it's game on. Come on. Met him. Knocks it over the top and oh Jesus Christ. Save it, please. I'm not going down to two of these. Oh, it's a big save. Right, get these defenders off because they are literally doing my absolute boxing today. Right, Ion, you've you've had your you've had your bloody sixty seven minutes of fame and you are chuffing crap. Right, you get back to covering. Get back on that pitch, Reggie Cool. Dieterman's injured up top, so Pinter's going to come on down the middle. Get him back into poacher mode. Come on, back to scoring ways. Come on! You know what? A bit of encouragement won't, won't harm anyone. 20 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Come on. We know what we need to do. <sighs> They're going to do it, though. That's the problem. We haven't done anything since the goal. We're starting to get back into it, though. Here we go. It's Kalafa. Can, we've scored a few late goals this season. It's been Edward Diamond. Diamond though, and it's Avram now, and Avram has done really poor today. A really big him up. And he's had two shocking games. Big tackle from Kalafa though. Because they were on the counter attack, and it's now Yassin. Can he knock the ball forward for Pinter? Can he win the header? He can't, and they jump on it. And we're looking vulnerable at the back, so I'm not, especially with this long ball as well, so I'm not happy that they've got the ball here. Can we win it back though? And Urka does. And who then clears it with a big hoof? But the ball's just bouncing back, and the ball comes in there. It's Johnson, and it's 2 1 to fucking Coldville. Our 24 match unbeaten run is about to come to an end. It's just informed me, and I'm so glad that I brought it on this episode. Great goal, good header. 2 1. Right, pause the game. Fucking just do something. Got to push forward now, lads. Come on, boys. Kalafa puts it in there, he's headed away. It's Carido now to Yesin. Knock it back out and he does. He gets to Kalafa. Can he get a good ball? And it's Margarita. He knocks it. It's Avram with a goal. 2-2. Two, two, five minutes to go. I'll take a draw. I will take a draw today. Carido picks it up from the corner. Nice little pass from Yasin. There was only one way he was going to go. Kalafa to Margarita. I was like, hit it. Bounces off the defender. And there's Avram. Puts it away. 2-2. Two, two. I will take a draw though. I just don't want to lose. So... I'm not going to tell him to do anything. And get. I don't think we will though. The time is kind of ebbing away uh, yet. Yeah. And that's it. All over. <sighs> Disappointing. So a 2-2 draw against Colville. We did show some character going twice behind and bringing it back to make it 2-2. After the disappointing defeat in the cup. I will take the draw because that increases our unbeaten run to 25 games now. And yeah, that's all that matters at the moment. We keep that twenty we keep that unbeaten run and we will win the league. We are now eight points clear at the top of the table after Shepshed lost six five. What a crazy game against Drawsden. So as long as we win our next game, we're playing Radcliffe for the bottom of the league. As long as we win that next game, we could go yeah, eleven points clear at the top of the table. So let's have a quick look where we're gonna come back. Let's come back around this area. Let's come back at the end of March. We'll come back for Curzon Ashton and Bashford home and away. And then we will start coming into the home straight. And hopefully it'll be a title winning season. It's not been the greatest episode. But we've still got the unbeaten record. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been your host, Captain Billy Man FM. Please share amongst family and friends and on social media. Obviously, do subscribe to the channel. If you want to receive these videos, do turn on your notifications as well. And while you're at it, just give this video a nice little like at the bottom. I'll be back in a couple of days' time. See you later. Bye-bye.